Gateshead International Stadium has witnessed many a fine athletic performance and the 3,000 fans who turned up to see mighty Gloucester against Gosforth weren't to be disappointed. Indeed, Gosforth, with a little better luck, would have taken the lead right at the start through winger Graeme Spearman. Even so, it was Gloucester who took the lead, a penalty against Gosforth for collapsing a scrum. Tim Smith with the kick on 13 minutes, 3-0 to Gloucester. Four minutes later, Gosforth were level. This time, Gloucester were accused of pulling down the scrum near the halfway line. It needed a mighty kick from fullback John Whisker. And even with the wind behind him, it was an enormous effort. Gosforth 3, Gloucester 3. Gloucester demonstrated their great strength time and time again, but were perhaps fortunate to score the first try. John Gadd over the line. Undeterred, Gosforth came straight back with two penalties from Graeme Spearman, which gave them a 9-7 lead, coming up the second of the two on 38 minutes. Gloucester replied with another kick in injury time, 10-9 at half-time. The West Country side exerted tremendous pressure from the start of the second period, a 10-minute blast virtually killing off the second division side's challenge. The first try came from winger Jim Breeze. Tim Smith converted 16 points to nine for Gloucester. Three minutes later, another try. This one owing more to Gloucester's brute strength than flowing rugby. Hooker Kevin Dunn forcing himself over the line. Coming up, the try of the match. A real captain's effort from Mike Hamlin. 61 minutes gone and the game now beyond Gosforth. 26-9 to Gloucester. Gosforth were by no means disgraced though and got a deserved score five minutes from time. Paul Smith tripped, charging for the line. No hesitation from the referee, a penalty try. Graeme Spearman converted eight points from his boot. The final score, Gosforth 15, Gloucester 26. I thought that we, we didn't do ourselves fully, full justice because we played in parts very good. We didn't get the rub of the green in certain times. But the difference between ourselves and Gloucester in the end was they could hold on to the ball seven, eight times. We maybe did three or four good things and then we would lose it. Um, that's part of growing up and that's part of learning to make sure that we can build on this for next year.